Well, it's the 14th out here, nice sunny day. Uh, it's like springtime, but, uh, you know, looks are deceiving. We'll have to wait and see how that works out. Um, yeah, I'm back on this thing again. Um, well, the only thing to report is I went ahead and uh, installed my inner rocker and welded it all in place. So it's, uh, it's in there. And then uh, went ahead and um, spot welded the uh, skin to it. So, um, yeah, it's all, all in there. There were a couple spots I didn't like, so I went ahead and drilled through from the outside and put some plugs the other way as well, but most of it was done from underneath and burned through this side. but. Then uh, kind of ground the shape. I had a couple little spots that were high or whatever, and I'm pretty happy with it. I'm uh, pretty happy with the whole situation here. So next, I guess, is uh, start filling that hole up in the bottom of this truck. So I think I'm gonna. Uh, Try and start figuring out what I'm going to do about that. Well, uh, yeah, this is what I'm cutting out to start with, and um, hopefully I don't screw it up. I've got these big uh, uh, seat brackets. This was out of a bus. They're kind of in my way, but I can get around them, and I missed the couple little holes that are in it as well. So I think it'll be all right, and then I'll have to. Uh, Figure out what I'm going to do with the extra mounting stuff that's underneath it. Well, I had company got sidetracked and this and that. It's still uh, uh, the 14th. Anyway, uh, the front of this piece of metal I'm going to use, I need to flatten this down. I need this shape different. So what I've got, i got a big chunk of, uh, I don't know, 3 16 or something plate stuck to the top of it with just a couple clamps, one at each end, and then a big old chunk of angle underneath, clamped at each end. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and heat each of these up uh, one at a time and smack them down and see if I can flatten that out without stretching it side to side, being as it's clamped. So I'll heat each one cherry and knock it down see if I can anyway so that's what I'm doing here whether or not I'll be successful we'll have to see if Okay, I kind of think this might actually work. It might look alright when it's said and done if I don't screw things up too bad. Very nice.
Fair. Well, being that I didn't have a, uh, you know, a patch piece for this, I didn't have this uh, front edge. And I guess we can kind of see what I got. So, basically I needed these uh, wavy things to go down to a flat and then they come out about a half an inch and then they're folded up at a 90 and the front of this lip will get spot welded to the front area but um, boy it's really hard to see there we go maybe but you can kinda kinda see what I got and um, yeah I'll fold it up and we'll see if it's gonna fit in there I actually have to flatten out uh, the last like row and a half here as well. Uh, I got to figure out exactly where, and then there's a a couple holes in it I want to patch before I install it in the truck. But anyway, I'm pretty happy with what I got here. This came out a whole bunch better than I thought it might. So. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of ugly, but it's it's not too bad. So anyway, Done, it'll be okay. So It's time to give it up for today. Um, frogs are croaking out there. That's a good thing. Sound like springtime. Um, anyway, but uh, this is what I got for a patch. It. Uh, uh, I got a couple spot weld holes to fill up in a place I cut through on the bottom. Go figure. And I got a pinhole here, a pinhole here, and a pinhole here. So I'm going to patch those actually from underneath. I'm going to put a patch underneath um, and weld up and then uh, you know, cut back and fill the hole on top of the patch. But uh, I'm going to do that before I put it in the car. I got my little uh, business down here done. Um, I don't think it's you know exact, but it's it's uh, fair. It's uh, trying to look like uh, uh, what they got up here at the front. They're all stepped down flat, and then a, a 90. Anyway, I'll fit this thing in. Um, I'm going to have to cut it back for these upright areas, but uh, for now, I'll just see what it's going to kind of look like. Well, I've done uh, oh, my bit of notching and stuff, and um, yeah, I'm actually uh, fairly happy with it. I got a little bit of a, a gap there. I still have to pull this piece back out and fix my little holes that I got. I got these few holes right here to deal with in my new piece, but uh, it's far better than it was, and it uh, it actually in the front up here, this is the front, needs to come over towards the outside of the car just a, a, a tiny bit. Um, what I ended up doing is just flatten the last couple rows, which is what I needed to go over my door sill here. And uh, yeah, this will get uh, trimmed off the right amount. 
and then uh, leave just a, about oh maybe an eighth extra maybe maybe a quarter on the lip and then I'll fold it once I get it spot welded down to the door sill then I'll fold that lip down and probably roll it back in underneath here around this edge and that'll be the edge of that uh, pretty cool my front edge here uh, it's not factory but it's uh, you know darn close it's close enough so um, pretty happy with it. I'm going to call it uh, good for today because I am starving like Marvin and uh, it's just that time so anyway a um, little bit of floor progress so uh, yeah it's actually kind of camouflaged in there it's hard to tell look at that anyway thanks for watching